What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, you might notice, Marcos, you have the cameras on. What, what's up with that? Well, I, I honestly think that I want to start turning on the camera a bit more when I record. Uh, and that's because I have these lights and stuff that I just don't use. Uh, and I, I just figured I would use them today, you know? But today we're going to be using a team that the Patreons already got access to a couple of weeks back. I'm finally building it in-game. I'm ready to use it. Uh, if you guys want to check out the Patreon, there's bonus videos on there. Uh, it's $1 a month if you guys want to support the channel. But this is a team centered around Raikou, and I think it's really interesting. Raikou has a couple of niches in the format uh, that can't be filled by any other Pokemon. So, yeah, before we get into it, do me a favor, guys. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like in the channel, or leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below what your favorite legendary beast is out of like Raikou, Suicune, or Entei. I think Raikou is pretty cool, but I think I like Entei the best. So this team is centered around Light Clay, Inner Focus, Raikou. It just got access to Inner Focus again due to the um, the ability capsules or the ability things. Um, and basically it makes it so it's not able to be intimidated, but that's not what really matters. It's the fact that Raikou is now a Pokemon that cannot be flinched. And that's really, really cool because like Regieleki and Tapu Koko are also electric types going for dual screens along with Raichu. This guy doesn't have to worry about fake out on lead. That's that's phenomenal. He doesn't have to worry about fake out on lead. He has enough bulk to take Life Orb, Landorus, Earthquake, which is really cool uh, after the Reflect, of course. He's got access to Howl, which is some nice tech next to Kartana and Gigalith. Um, and yeah, he's just really, really good. I speed crept him, I believe, to outspeed any base 115 Pokemon. I forget exactly. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but it's it's been a while. It's fast. That's all that matters. Uh, we have Assault Vest Kartana, my standard set. I sort of just slap on a teams with Finny and Incineroar on them. Finny is running Muddy Water, Moonblast, Icy Wind Protect with the Citrus Berry. Incineroar is running the very bulky set, uh, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Darkest Lair at Flare Blitz. We're running Gigalith, Weakness Policy, Rock Slide, Stomach Tantrum, Protect, Iron Head. I could change that out for Heavy Slam, but I'm fine with Iron Head for now. He's just running Max Max for defense uh, with four speed IVs to ensure that he's actually slightly faster than my Dust Clops to ensure that they don't speed tie. Uh, and I always get my self proc weakness policy off. So we're running Eviolite, Max Max, Standard Dust Clops. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited. We're on Telemundo Univision. Uh, you know, let's let's switch over to Sabado Gigantamax. You guys seem to really like that account. We're, we are now playing on Sabado Gigantamax, sending a message, letting people know that we did watch Don Francisco growing up, you know? All right. And the other day, you guys seemed to really enjoy that challenge I did where I was like, hey, if you guys have gotten this far in the video, comment this. You guys seem to have really enjoyed that. So I'll, I'll make another one today. I think I might just make it like a daily video thing. Okay. And also, if you notice that like my last three videos were on Showdown, that's just because I haven't had time to make a team in game. And I'm finally back home from my apartment. So I'm with my regular setup. So expect more videos instead of just once a day, I might do double uploads again. Okay. So this is interesting. We're on Sabado Gigantamax. I need to level up higher on this thing or ladder up higher on this guy. I might live stream tonight, in fact, to just ladder up on it. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know. Um, it looks like he has maybe a self-proc weakness policy thing going on with Sneasel plus Dragapult. I don't want to take an Ice Shard and die. Um, I could go with my... I hate that this guy's got inner focus too. What's his speed tier? 115. So he speed ties at Raikou, but not my Raikou because I'm too slow. I could go Gigalith on lead. But that's a bit risky. I think I want to go Tapu Fini on lead. It's the safest play I have. Um, I don't want to lead off with Incineroar because they could lead off with that uh, Galarian Zapdos, which is something I haven't thought about for a while. It's sort of fallen off. We'll go Raikou, and I definitely want to get my Trick Room off. We'll go Gigalith in the back. Okay. You know, I actually really, really like this lead. <laughs> this is actually a really solid lead. Let me go ahead and go for a Muddy Water as well as a Reflect. I can go for a Light Screen, actually. Do I go for Reflect or Light Screen? I think the uh, Reflect is better in case he wants to go for like a max move on me. Or the Light Screen, I mean. Alright. Now hopefully... Yeah, okay. Glad I went for the Light Screen. He has Icy Wind, which is a bit annoying, because now I have to take the full brunt of this. Max Overgrowth. Glad I got that off. Get our Citrus Berry going. Muddy Water. We end up missing the Sneasel, which is a little bit unfortunate. I see his weakness policy. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, I could Dynamax and live the hit. 
but I think it's safer to go Dusclops right here to reset. Um, I'll go ahead and get some Chip with Thunderbolt. There's the Triple Axle, I should take that well enough. As long as he targets into the Raikou here. Or it doesn't target into Raikou. He does, okay. Uh, disappointing. Let me go Gigalith, and I might be able to do this. I have to go for a Trick Room and a Protect here. Hopefully he goes for the Flash Cannon, gives me my Weakness Policy. Or not the Flash Cannon, but the Max Steel Spike into the Gigalith. Triple Axle shouldn't be doing much, and I should definitely be able to take this. Please tell me you went for the Max Steel Spike. Into the wrong Pokemon, that's fine. Let me go ahead and go for my Bulldoze here, as I go for my Max Quake on the Heatran. And Gigalith is about to go stupid. He has wasted his Dynamax. Early game. We have... We have burned his Dynamax, and now we're going to just reverse sweep. Let me go stupid on this man. Uh, something I need you guys to know. A lot of people have asked me, Marcos, how do you get better at this format? Uh, I found success in playing defensively until you absolutely cannot anymore. Basically, if you can burn your opponent's Dynamax early enough, if you can afford to play defensively enough to burn the Dynamax and then just reverse sweep, that seems to do pretty well. In my opinion, that seems to be one of the best ways to play this format. I'm not concerned at all with Sneasel, I kind of want to just knock out Zapdos. Let me go ahead and Will-O-Wisp into Zapdos. Actually, do I even care? I still have so many turns of Trick Room. Let me just Steel Spike the Sneasel. I have like all my turns of Trick Room, I'll burn the Zapdos and remove the Sneasel. I bet you this, I bet you the Sneasel is going to pull something out really crazy. Some really crazy stuff. What if he's, no, because he had Weakness Policy on the, on the other dude. Oh well, I'll just boost my defense here, there's no way he's knocking me out, get that burn. Let's see if he's Lum. They are not, so that's doing nothing. And there's the Dragapult. Let me go ahead and burn you too. Uh, and we will go for this solid, solid max steel spike on the Zapdos to boost your defense. We have enough special defense. We have enough physical defense. I am set to win the game. Good game. Well played. Awesome. Awesome. I love when things just go like clockwork like that. When they, when they try to cheese you on the lead and then you get them with the clockwork stuff, you know? I wouldn't say that's cheese. Weakness Ball C-Trans not cheese. It's definitely a legitimate team they were running, but... I'm surprised they Dynamax so early. Okay. This is actually a really great game for Raikou because he ignores the fake out from pretty much everything. I can get my screens up. Um, Gigalith looks nasty in this game, but I don't want to lead off with him. I definitely want to bring him in the back to help me beat that thing. Uh, actually, Gigalith just goes stupid all around. Absolutely insane. I think my safest play, though, is to go Raikou Finny once more, Gigalith in the back, and I actually really, really like the Incineroar, but I'm a bit cautious about it. Eh, I could go Dusclops. I could go Dusclops. Because the Trick Room, I'm, I'm better under Trick Room than he has. We'll go Dusclops. No Incineroar for me today. No Incineroar. And please excuse me if I look a little bit weird. I need to shave. I, I have, I have like a little neck beard going on. I, def I definitely need to shave. Urshifu and Glacier. Okay, so I, I definitely want to set up the reflect for the Glacier. So I'll get this off. Uh, I'll go for the Moonblast into Urshifu. He can go into Celesteela if he wants. Uh, what matters here is that we, you know, don't get automatically KO'd by this Dynamax Glacier. And Tapu Fini behind screens eats hits from this guy. His only real switch into this would be the Celesteela, which I'm pretty certain he brought. Actually, maybe not. He wouldn't switch it in on Raikou at the very least. And screens Raikou aren't, like, it's not the most common thing. There's the Reflect. Moonblast does a decent amount. Max Quake. Um, I definitely don't want to switch in Gigalith on that hit. I think what I'll do is I'll get in Gigalith here for Raikou. Not really care about the other screen, and I will go for a Muddy Water, or maybe I'll just Moonblast into the Clefairy once more to get some damage. They should go for Tapu Fini here, I think. Oh, and no, Gigalith had to take the whole brunt of that attack. That is disappointing. Let me go ahead, and... I kind of want to just go for a, um... I definitely want the Trick Room up. Let me do this. I'll Protect. And I will get Dusclops in for Tapu Fini. He can't knock me out. I can definitely get my Trick Room off. And then next turn I can Dynamax. Because he Max Knuckles. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Do I even want to Dynamax this guy now? Is it worth it? 
Because the close combat might knock me out. I don't think it's worth it. I think I just have to salvage Tapu Fini and play that way. Um, he should redirect the hit away into the Clefairy. I'll just Iron Head this thing. And I will attempt to Will-O-Wisp the Glacier. But he should follow me. Okay, so I do get the Will-O-Wisp off from the Glacier, which is great. Oh, I'm an idiot. The Misty Terrain. Guys, don't don't unsubscribe. Guys, don't, don't, please don't <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. All right. Um, geez, Marcos. You're throwing. You are throwing, my friend. You are throwing this game. Just double into this Clefairy. In case he decides to protect or something. Actually, no. Just do this. I am so stupid. Here's the Helping Hand. Get some good damage. Get my berry. I might be able to save this game. I might be able to. Alright, so now... Now the terrain is gone. I should be able to go for this play. Max Geyser into Clefairy. And Nightshade, since he should redirect here every single time, I should not go for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay, we got rid of that. Urshifu is a major problem. I cannot deny this. It is a big issue, uh, but he shouldn't be able to knock me out from this range. There's probably a Raichu coming in. Yeah, I, I messed this game up. I freaked at this game so hard. There's the Raichu. Hmm. How can I do this? If I trick room, I lose. <laughs> what if I did this? What if I max guard trick room and just hope that he misses, but I also burn him? You feel? This is my only way out. Believe me, guys, this is the only way out. Okay, I can go for the burn, and I can go for a muddy water here. Do I have a muddy water? Yeah, I, I have to burn him for, for sure. I might even just have to sack Raikou. No. Let me muddy water and go for a burn. We landed. Can I live? Probably not. <gasps> we lived. Oh my god, We and we missed the Raichu. Okay. Well, let's see if I can dodge another high horsepower. Reflect. Nightshade. Uh, I should underspeed. The only way I win here is if he misses his attack. That's pretty much it. I freaked at this game so hard. I should not have played the way I did today. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna knock me out. Oh, I live. Hello. Thank you. And I and I go down. I mean, it really depends. It's an Oh, wait. No, there's no issue. Good game. Well played. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I, I played that so poorly. <laughs> yeah. Um, where, where it really went wrong is where I switched in the... Uh, I switched in the Gigalith on the Max Quake. That's where I went wrong. Okay. Interesting. Uh, sun, hyper offense. I am very scared of that Blacephalon. I cannot I cannot lie about that. I should be able to overwrite the sun, though, with Gigalith if I play my cards right. I will go Raikou on lead, as well as Incineroar, Gigalith in the back, and I want to go Tapu Fini, but it feels very unsafe. Kartana is also extremely unsafe. We'll go Dusclops. I can tell you, though, um, Raikou plus Kartana goes insane on certain matchups. Hopefully I can show you at some point in the video. Yeah, I might just do like a general laddering stream tonight. And also I'll continue my Nuzlocke of uh, Pokemon Sword. Okay, so this is actually a really, really good lead for me. Uh, they should definitely go for fake tears into Raikou and try to knock me out. I don't mind losing it early as long as I get this light screen off. Because they can't fake tears in Cinerar, and they can't knock it out. I'll Darkest Lair at the Blacephalon. I'm assuming they're just going to, like, mind blown or something. Or even Heat Wave. Fake tears, Heat Wave would make sense. As long as this guy isn't, you know, specs or anything. Oh, okay, I can live with that. So they end up going for this play. Uh, I will go ahead and go for my Reflect, and... I think Gigalith can switch in fine enough. But I think I go Dusclops here to play it safe. Because I don't want to switch him in on a hit he can't take, you feel? There's the Sash, there's the Policy. As he Tailwinds, okay. 
as he knocks me out. Interesting that that knocked out through Reflect. <laughs> All right, I go for my fake out in my trick room. I, I think that that knockout actually benefited me more than it benefited him. Yes, he has the lead in Pokemon right now, but he can't prevent the trick room, and Gigalith's absolutely insane in this situation. I just really want to go stupid with Gigalith again. Honestly, I think Gigalith's super slept on in this format. Like, let's think about all the things it can do. Kill things. That's it. It kills things. Don't you dare. Okay. Alright, we're good. Let me go for the Darkest Lair into the Blacephalon. Let me go for the Will-O-Wisp into the Rhyperior. That's my play. I get rid of both of you with this. Or I, I at least neutralize the Rhyperior. I don't even know if he stays in with Rhyperior, considering. Alright. Let me get in the Gigalith here. He went for a Rock Slide, so I assume I can Bulldoze pretty safely. Especially since Rhyperior is, you know, destroyed. And Gigalith might be able to go stupid depending on how this goes. Okay. Tell me that you went for a Rock Slide. That'd be phenomenal. Because this is just neutral, not even. Okay, well that's disappointing. I've done that twice in this session. Let me go for my max Steel Spike into Rhyperior. And I will also go for the Incineroar play here. Yeah, that's my play. I could max Quake, it'd be a little bit safer, but I don't want him to switch in like right. I don't want him to switch in Charizard for free. Because we still don't know his fourth Pokemon. It could be Torkoal, it could be Charizard. I'm assuming it's Torkoal, to be honest. Um, and I have Sandstorm, so, you know, Rockfall, he die. I'm surprised it did that much. Rhyperior's got stupid attack, bro. Because that's, that's through Reflect and stuff. Alright. As he does not Dynamax. Good. Uh, and he's in a very tricky situation here. I should be able to go for the Max Quake. And the Flare Blitz. And that covers everything really. I still have one more turn of Trick Room. But I think that this might be a little bit too much for him to deal with. If his only Pokemon in the back is Pacephalon. Like if his only not Torkoal Pokemon as Blacephalon, because Torkoal could be useful, but Dynamax Gigalith behind screens, it might go absolutely insane here. Especially if I just opt to go for a Protect and knock it out, you know? We still have one turn of Light Screen. There's the Charizard. I'm assuming he's just going to go for Sunny Day. Um, How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I could just try to knock him out. I think I survive. Unless he has fake tears, I might survive. I might have also just freaked the game once more. My favorite way of saying I lost. As he max guards, goes for a sunny day. My rock fall goes into nothing, which is a bit disappointing. However, I could just reset it. And I think here, in this situation, he kind of has to target into Gigalith the max, the max overgrowth. I think this is how I do it. I mean, Darkest Lair right here. Hopefully, he just goes for like a Mind Blown or something. A Shadow Ball would be very disappointing into the Incineroar slot, but I think he goes for his Fire Move, which I should take even in the Sun. I want to get rid of his Sun as a thing. And if I can get this guy in safely, my Dust Clops, I should be able to Trick Room on them. If I'm only taking an Overgrowth, you know? And I'm also able to Parting Shot if Blacephalon goes down, which I'm assuming it's Scarf or something, you know? Specs, finally, we have we have an answer. Incineroar lives. Come on, tell me you Overgrowth. He quaked, that's fine. I think that's fine. Because I'm going to destroy this Blacephalon. And I still have Special Defense. Okay. My play here, I believe, is to... Protect and parting shots, and then go for a double and hope for the best, maybe. He quakes. Doesn't do that much. Parting shot him. I haven't gotten my citrus or anything, so this is still a very scary situation, especially since I'm taking sandstorm damage. There we go. Um, he has Scorching Sands as his move. He's at minus one. I just have to hope I eat the hit. Scorching Sands is very dangerous in this situation. You got this, Gigalith. You have plus one special defense. This is such a scary game. Eh, we don't live. Okay, good game. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we die. GG. I didn't expect it to do that much at minus one. 
Maybe he'll miss. I don't even think he can miss. <gasps> Incineroar, absolutely broken. We got it, we got it. Hold on, that game made me need to use the bathroom. Okay, I'm done. Now, uh, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, uh, let's confuse everyone who clicked off the video or has just joined the video. Uh, and comment down below, uh, Incineroar is a... How would I say? What's, what's a good one? What's a good one? Incineroar is a fat cat. Incineroar is a fat cat. That's, that's the one. Incineroar is a fat cat. I was going to say thick kitty, but I felt that was a little bit too explicit. GLHF. It looks like we're facing Aqua Jet shenanigans. We don't have any follow me, but we do have fake out, which is funny. Let me lead off Incineroar. Dust Clops. I don't think they have much way of stopping it. And Raikou in the back looks sick nasty. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to use Kartana yet. He might not be terrible in this match, but I think I get more out of Finny. Let's make this one the last one of the video. <sighs> Depends. If it's if it's like short, I'll do one more. All right. Um. I mean, I should just be able to fake out Kartana and always get off Trick Room, depending on his set. He's Culberberry. There's Incineroar. Get my Trick Room off. Um, judging by the damage, he's probably physical. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Will-O-Wisp on the Dragapult. Make this easier on myself. Get in Tapu Fini. Oh, what am I saying? Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> I just said that out loud. I mean, I could parting shot into Incineroar or something, but let's just let's just double into him, bro. I just said that out loud, unironically. Okay. Uh, and now we're in a pretty good position to win. Uh, let me go ahead and go for a Darkest Lara into you. I don't think that this Incineroar stays in. Maybe I just parting shot into you. And go for the Max Rockfall. Max Quake will do it too, I think. Well, Max Quake in case the Cartan tries to come in. Yeah, there it is. There's the Quake. We do about half. That's great. That is great. Parting shot. He's just going to go for a dragon move here. Lowering my damage output. As, yeah, okay. Into Tapu Fini. We're good. Let me go ahead and... I'll double into the Cartana to play it safe. I still have two turns of Trick Room. So go for another Max Quake. These two should knock it out regardless of rolls or anything. This will also just knock it out. <laughs> Did this man just ally switch and die? Hilarious. Couldn't be me. There's the Clefairy. Uh, Incineroar still beats his Kartana 1v1. And I do have plus 2 attack. Unfortunately, I can't side Muddy Water, but I can't just go for the regular Muddy Water. Uh, I'll go ahead and go for a Max Steel Spike into Clefairy. Get some good damage. No weakness policy, unfortunately. Let me Muddy Water once more. Go for a Rock Slide. Uh, these two things should KO an incoming Kartana if they decide to make that play. Actually, it, it shouldn't, but I'm still in a position to win. Because I have plus one defense, Gigalith. At the very least, I'll be knocking out this Clefairy here. Is he going to Parting Shot? Probably. As unfortunately, I miss my Muddy Water, which is always disappointing. Rock Slide. Okay. Now, I should be able to get in my Incineroar here and go for a Iron Head onto the Clefairy. I'm just going to cycle in my Incineroar. Is he helping hands? Leaf Blade, that won't cut it. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm sorry, guys. I just realized how hilarious I am. <laughs> that won't cut it. I now have Fake Out Pressure versus him, depending on his speed tier. I do have a decent amount of speed on my Incineroar, uh, but I believe my safest play is just to Flare Blitz and Protect. Yep, there it is. Uh, and now he has no way of avoiding this, so I go for my Flare Blitz into you. Um, I don't care about Gigalith right now, because I can just double Stopping Tantrum. Plus one Stopping Tantrum, or neutral Stopping Tantrum, I believe does it from this range. He can go for a Sacred Sword, but it won't knock out my Incineroar, since he's at minus one. Yeah, it should be good to go. You'd need a crit. And even then, he would have to crit both of my Pokemon, I think. Yeah, we should be good. Like I said, Incineroar... Incineroar is a fat cat. He can take the hit. 
I definitely need to work on the lighting. I feel like my face is far too lit. You know? Because I have two lights. I got that light, I got that light. I'm far too lit up. There's the parting shot. I don't think that'll save you, bud. Alright, GG, well played. That was a pretty nice way of ending the session. So yeah, that's the team I'm building in-game right now. I think Gigalith has a lot of potential. I didn't really get to showcase the Howl side of things, but it is very fun to use that team. Uh, if you guys want to try out the team, Paste will be in the description down below. Uh, the physical team, like the in-game team, I'll probably have done by Monday. So if you guys want to try that out, just stick around for that. If you guys enjoyed the video at any point in time, do me a favor. Leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.